Welcome, welcome, welcome to Daddy Bits, or daily technical analysis show. I am your host, the ugly one, and as always, my amazing co-host. Teflon John. Dude, the market popped. The market did pop. The and market popped. All of our short, um, you know, short positions were wrong. Well, yeah, all of our, yeah, we were extremely wrong. Again, yeah. what you guys get in this channel is transparency. So when we're wrong, we tell you when we're wrong. We're not going to tell you. We're not going to divert and say, you know what? This could have happened. Oh, you know what? This No, nope, no, nope, plain and simple. We were wrong. So I hope, again, that was not financial advice. And I hope that you guys didn't follow our place because clearly we were wrong. We'll only follow the right ones. <laughs> yeah, only follow the right ones. But only follow the right ones. Again, this show is for semi-entertainment purposes. You know, this is a forum for John and I to talk about what we want to do. But again... If you guys are following us, it's at your own risk and make sure that you guys take your profits or minimize your losses as you guys see it. So uh, with that being said, if you haven't yet, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, give us a nice thumbs up if you guys like this content. And please make sure that you guys drop the com in the comment section below with the stocks you guys want us to cover uh, so we can uh, shout you guys out as well on the show. But with that being said, let's get to the episode. Right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick look at the NASDAQ, the QQQ. John, why did it run so much today? Man, you know what? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know, but I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining that it ran. Um, so we were trying to position uh, shorts, you know, yesterday for today, right? And obviously mm -hmm. everything gapped up, everything ran. Um, so here's the thing, though. So for the folks... Who are looking into you know some of the plays that we're we're looking at here's my number one rule okay we do all of these work like homework you know the night before mm -hmm. the following day is not guaranteed whatsoever nope. a lot it of things can happen you know china can declare war i don't mm -hmm. know like russia can keep spying on us a lot of things can can happen right overnight but it's how you prepare is what's key right so today i i placed no trades today uh obviously because you know the the top three trades that i wanted to play didn't pan out okay mm -hmm. but at least if it did oh heck yeah dude short all the way but oh, it yeah. did, so I, I didn't have to force any trades at all so really losing zero dollars is better than losing actual dollars exactly right? exactly so, i mean you guys can blame us. I mean, like I said, you know, I would love to be wrong, which I was. Thank God, because I would love to. I would love the market to run. It's not ready to dip yet, because obviously mm -hmm. today it gapped up and it, it, it closed pretty strong too. Um, there was so no today, there was gap gap up and no fill. Yeah, gap up with no fill, which is kind of scary because the come down is going to be a tough one to swallow. Um, so we saw QQQ. Uh, today it, it actually closed at you know the highest point of the day. Well, not really, almost it almost did, um, but it somewhat uh, hammered towards the end of the day. So mm -hmm. what we're seeing right now for today's candle is like a hammer, a bull hammer, not really. But really, that gap in between is what scares me because there's gaps from what from Friday, last Friday, no, last Thursday. I'm sorry. And the market's been market ran for what? How many days now? A oh, week yeah. and a half now. Yeah, it's like the entire two months was such a waste. It, this it, right here, know, this yeah. right here. These, this entire two months was fully recovered within a week. This are you, are you talking about? Are you talking about this right here? Such a waste. Look at that. That right there. We're we're back at all time highs again. That right there. Yeah. One more percent, which I think we will hit uh, by tomorrow because, you know, futures right now are, are looking decent. But really, what a waste of two it months. Was. It was a waste Seriously. of two months. It was a waste of two months. That's but in order, for us, in order for us to get to higher highs, we needed this right here. That's true. That's it true. is a necessary evil, though. It is a necessary evil, and again, we we have to let the bears get their get their way too. You know, sometimes we turn into a bear. Yesterday was a very bearish day, like for us, it was a very yeah. bearish episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. But let's take a look at the features real quick. 
for NASDAQ. That, 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 now that you mention it. Ah, that looks like it's ready to hammer again. It is pretty. It looks like we're going to gap up again tomorrow. It That's that's the keyword. It looks like. Yeah. It's setting up again. I'm going to have to roll my shorts. I'm rolling my shorts. John hates it when I say I'm about to roll something. I, I, I roll a lot of things, and <laughs> rolling options is not one of them. <laughs> you, were talk, you were talking about uh, uh, a come down from the gap up earlier. You know what that reminded me? That reminded me of like, like early 2005 when you leave the club and the come down is really real. <laughs> oh, man, those trips. <laughs> Don't you, just, don't you just love those? Yeah, and they 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 last for like the next forty eight hours. Oh, man, oh my god, the come downs are definitely real. Let's take a look at the spy real quick. Um, El Spyo. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Exactly, looks exactly the same. And actually, to be honest with you guys, I shorted spy today. Yeah, but who knows? I mean, dude, a lot of things can happen overnight. So I de yeah, definitely a lot of things can happen overnight. I I am still short on spy. They do expire tomorrow, so I will let go of the position no matter what. Yeah. If you know, if I see some profit, I'll take it. But if I don't, I'll probably let them expire. Yeah. Short yeah. nibble position. I just wanted to taste. Dude, look look at spy. Look at that gap from what is that four oh one to four oh three? Right here. Right. right? Here. Yeah. It hasn't been filled yet. That's gonna be filled by probably like next week or something. Oh, so so now you're telling me to roll my calls then. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're now telling me to roll my puts. <laughs> like I said, I roll a lot of things. <laughs> <not options. laughs> but with the market running like this, you can't help but be very optimistic about your a uh, longer conviction place. Right, your stronger conviction plays. It's hard to not get excited about that. And the first one that we want to talk about is Apple. Apple has been seeing a, a pretty solid run in the past week. In, in this whole week. Yeah. This whole week. Yep. And then uh, shout out to Matt because Matt Matt rode this one. I'm not oh, sure if he's still in there, but that that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful candle. Yeah. No, we and, don't have. Any look at that crossover. The, oh yeah, the, this the yeah, nine, this right here. Crossing the nine, crossing the fifty, and then the twenty is about to cross the, the fifty. That's a strong oh, move. Yeah, Some that's a very good right move. Yeah, we're we're gonna test the the next uh, level of resistance. We're probably testing is right here, one thirty five. Yeah. If you look at um, uh, come down a little bit lower. There's a gap right there. So there's a gap for one thirty two, where the initial drop happened uh, right here, left, right here. Yeah, 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 I see that. From if you know, um, what right here. You yeah, right there, 132. Right here. Yep, 132 and 131 something. Mm -hmm. 132, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll ride uh, Apple up until 132, 133, so to, yeah. to fill the gap. But Apple doesn't look like it's going to come down. I mean, mm -mm. buy the dip on Apple, really. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you guys see uh, intraday dip tomorrow, um, I would definitely take a, take a stab at it. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at after hours because it was kind of running still after hours. It, yeah, it did. Yeah, and so it closed on a hammer. That's number one. And on top of that, uh, it, it ran after hours, not by much, but still. Mm -hmm. So we are going to expect a gap up for yeah. Apple tomorrow. So who knows? It might run two, three points and fill that gap. Yeah, so. I mean, if it runs two, three points, hold on to your horses and hopefully yeah. that you guys, you know, have have some good conviction. On Apple, even on the on the daily chart, you know what? Right, right around this level, I would definitely say, um, be a be cautious. I'm not gonna say go go out, get out, but be cautious because our RSI is looking at sixty two dollars. If it ever hits one thirty three, one thirty two, that's gonna hit over over bought levels, yeah. and uh, it may trade sideways for for some time. Uh, before it, it ultimately is going to go past 145. I do believe that. But those, oh, yeah. if you are, if you're trading options, um, time isn't on your side because Apple moves extremely slow. It does. It yeah. does move extremely slow. When when it has these nice pops, it's you're in you're in it, right? But I I mean, look at this right here. It's a W recovery, so that's that's yeah. a reverse head and shoulders, and it, it was just bound to happen. Yeah. 
So the next stock that we want to talk about is the mother of all EVs, Nikola. I mean, Tesla. <laughs> oh, crap. You almost <laughs> gave me a heart attack there. <laughs> 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 Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. You're really going to bring that up, Nicola? Really? <laughs> the wedge is still alive. The wedge, the, the, the wedge is beautiful. Yeah, thank ago. God we, we drew this one. So we have something to follow through on this one. So if it does follow the wedge, okay, mm -hmm. worst case scenario, we might see 640 again. Who knows? Maybe next week. Um, but we are going to follow this wedge up until it breaks. So if it mm -hmm. breaks 700, 705 tomorrow, man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The wedge isn't the wedge isn't dead if it breaks out of the wedge. Oh, right. It just yeah, means you know, we're in a different range and this uh -huh. wedge is no longer a, a viable uh, a, a technical uh indicator. Well, now yeah. we have to draw a different pattern because yeah. this wedge right here is this is a falling wedge and if this ever breaks, I think we're in it. Yeah. Plus it's also setting up for uh you know a reverse or inverse uh, head and shoulders as well. Yeah, right there. A right w, there. Yeah, a W, w shape. recovery. Yeah. yeah. That's 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 coming up soon. Uh after hours wasn't that great though. I mean, All it's right. holding to the levels that it closed at uh I think I think we could see some gap up, but this wedge is telling me that we have some more sideways action before yeah. we actually see anything else. I mean, expect it to I mean, the worst case scenario, it hits the 649 level and it could go either up or down. Um, but with, with tech running, I do feel that we can go up now. Is this it, John? Is this it, Chief? Man, I don't want to jinx it, man. Every, know, gotta stop saying it. It. Yeah, every time I say this is it, Chief, like, bam, margin call. Bang, margin call. <laughs> Jay Powell couldn't even save us. Yeah. Jay Powell doesn't save nobody. The next stock we want to talk about um, is uh, a fan favorite. A favorite of our, all of us, a Discord favorite. But before we do that, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, give us a nice thumbs up, um, and make sure that you guys drop your stocks in the comment section down below. But with that being said, let's get into our last stock of the day, which is the almighty Palantir. PLTR, talking about, speaking of wedges, PLTR broke our wedge. It's about to break our wedge even further. Man, Palantir hasn't really done much. Well, it's about to do something. Look at that. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with this guy. Uh, I would not be disappointed with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this right here. This this tells me that we have some some nice movement to the upside here, and we're still testing. Um, 2376 is uh -huh. the resistance. 2374, yeah. 2370. Yeah. Yep. Somewhere around there, that's resistance. Um, and this hammer right here is giving me uh, some semblance of hope. Um, it did get a hold rating from uh, from an analyst. Uh, and like, if we take a look at what it did intraday, intraday as well as after hours, you guys see that it just, I mean, it dipped a little bit. This kind of gave me a heart attack. But again, we weren't really worried because it's still in the wedge. Yeah. Um, but it broke out this wedge and then it's kind of holding and after hours we're seeing some life here dude that's probably kathy woods you know ark invest buying again kathy's buying again let me see here there's no big she, she bought um she bought a million uh i think a couple of days ago yesterday was it yesterday yesterday this was it right here this 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 right here yeah that right there that right there any uh, thoughts on uh, the almighty Palantir? We're still holding, obviously. We're not shorting this forever. Well, Palantir just moves so slow. And it's, I'm, I'm surprised it was green today. Yeah. I mean, we take these wins for what they are. And I think uh, it's not it yet. I don't think it's it yet. And then if we take a look at the, um, the RSI on the daily chart, we're still, we're still in there. We're still right around the 45 mark. Um, the MACD is about to open up, right yeah. after it coiled a little bit. Yep. Um, just wait for this. It's gonna, it's gonna pay out eventually. It's gonna come out. Yeah. We just have to hold on to it. Any last words, my guy? Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow yeah. is Friday. Um, again, that is the end of the video. Please make sure that you guys subscribe. Post notification bell. Give us a nice thumbs up if you guys like this this video or this content. 
stop, comment down in the section below for the stocks that you guys want us to cover. Um, also, follow us on your social media, Trading Poppy. Follow John at John C. Trades. Follow us both at Trading Daddies. Give us uh, you know, a nice little peep at our website, tradingdaddies.com, for all your merch. Robin Hood sucks. It's still a 15% off code. Um, and uh, that's about it. Remember that. Let's get trading. And the charts do not lie. Yeah.